Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Rainex, Hum by Verizon, State Farm, and WeatherTech. M City is unique, designed to test connected and automated vehicles. It's the only facility of its kind in the world. It almost looks like a scene out of a movie, and that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to replicate a real city, complete with traffic lights and street signs. It's tucked away on the University of Michigan campus in Ann Arbor. Behind its charming look, serious testing and research. Carrie Morton is the deputy director of M-City. Looking at legal liability and insurance questions, privacy, cybersecurity, understanding how to test and make sure these technologies are safe. Not many people get to visit this facility, so we're glad we had the chance. The future of Level 4 Autonomous Driving is pretty amazing. We're going to take you through M-City and show you a test scenario. Our vehicle shows up as this green square on this iPad. The yellow squares all around us are virtual vehicles. Essentially, the cars are connected and actually talking to one another about the environment around them. And you mentioned there's $300,000 worth of sensors on this car. That's right. Yeah, these sensors aren't cheap, but that's because they're, they're really a, a state of the art. They're not made in high volume yet. You know, just like our DVD players used to cost $1,000, you know, you can get them for 10 bucks. Autonomous vehicles have certainly come a long way since they first burst onto the scene in 2013. So now we're going to take a left and go down to our rail crossing. We should have a commuter train that's scheduled to come through right about now. Here it comes. We're going to stop for that. And you notice we're stopped back a little bit. That's because there's a vehicle in front of us, a virtual vehicle. In reality, transportation that looks like this is still a long way off. However, self-driving shuttles, like this one, could be on our streets in the next couple of years. This one and others are already moving students around campus. We stepped on to try it out. It operates similar to the Level 4 autonomous car we tested out earlier. When we first see these shared Level 4 vehicles, likely they may be operating in a small urban environment or even as first mile, what we call first mile, last mile transportation. So moving me from a commuter lot to my home at the end of my bus ride home from work, for example, or train ride. So providing a connection into a more established transit system. The big question, will we ever be able to trust these self-driving vehicles? Recent studies show 70% of Americans are scared to share the road with an autonomous vehicle and only 21% say they'd ride in one. Not surprising considering there have been at least four deaths blamed on driverless vehicles. That's why testing and research going on at M-City is vital as engineers all over the world continue to tweak technology. The industry is, is moving all in this same direction, which is providing a fail-safe path, whether it's pulling the vehicle to the side of the road putting the hazards on, for example, but making sure that when the vehicle is in a situation it can't control, if there were no human to take over, that it moves into a fail-safe position automatically. So when the vehicles are communicating with each other and also with the traffic infrastructure, they can act as a collaborative ecosystem and operate on the whole much more efficiently, reducing emissions, fuel consumption, as well as congestion. 